So, all that said, I wanted to do something that was appropriate tonight, something we've been doing on this show uh, for 10 years, uh, which is a little segment we call If They Made It. works if you're unfamiliar uh, we have an amazing machine that can look at celebrity couples couples that are dating in the news couples that the tabloids have said are going out and getting it on <laughs> and we can look at what if those if that couple has a baby what that baby would look like and it is very accurate I think it has a 98 percent accuracy rate so what you're gonna see is really what these celebrities kids are gonna look like when they grow up uh, and I, we're going to start right now with Halle Berry and Fred Durst. Apparently, don't be shocked, but the tabloids, and they're, they're never wrong. They have a 2% accuracy rate. Uh, Halle Berry and Fred Durst are apparently going out uh, now. And uh, we thought, what would happen if these two had a child? What would it look like? Let's take a look. I'm just curious. I want to know. And... That's a sweet... That's a sweet child. And she kept the knit cap, which I think is nice. It stayed in the family. Bruce Willis from Dog, and, uh, from Dog Eat Dog, Brooke Burns, are going out. And what's happened to Bruce Willis? Why does he want to look like Mr. Freeze now? <laughs> Keep cool, Batman. Uh, but apparently, <laughs> these two are going out, and we thought we'd find out what would happen if they had a baby. Let's take a look really fast. And oh. Wow. That guy bothered me at an airport once. I remember. <laughs> That was a freak show. Uh, Jack Nicholson and Diane Keaton have apparently uh, gone out on some dates. <laughs> what are you doing? I didn't do anything yet. Jack Nicholson wearing his x-ray specs. He got at the back of a comic book. Uh, Jack Nicholson and Diane Keaton, let's find out what would happen. I think we've earned the right. Let's see right now. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I am so sorry to everybody. I am profoundly sorry that we did that. We should do something. We should never do that again. And yet, this bit will continue right now. Um, these two are shooting a movie together, but they've also been seen out together. And uh, that leads us to believe that something's going on, because where there's smoke, there's usually fire and more smoke. Angelina Jolie and Val Kilmer. These two are going out. And um, God, she's gorgeous. Uh, He's got oily skin. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> Let's take a look at what would happen if they had a baby. I'm just curious. Let's find out right now. <laughs> Once again, that is a fish that lives in the deepest part of the sea. <laughs> its eyes have atrophied, but its mouth has grown larger, thanks to evolution, to gather more kelp and crush it <laughs> at the bottom of the ocean. Jacques Cousteau found it first, and uh, everybody's happy. These two, of course, just made a movie, Kill Bill, and apparently it's a rumor, but I talked to our lawyer and he said we can go on rumor, that I've earned that much trust and respect in the broadcasting business. Uma Thurman and Quentin Tarantino, right here, and uh, don't gasp, nothing happened yet. Let's take a look at what would happen. I'm just curious if they had a baby, what would happen? Oh, God. Oh, oh Lord. That is... Horrific. Who does that look like? That looks like somebody. I don't know. What? It's a little, got a little Leno thing going on. It's like if Jay Leno was in a Canadian rock band and <laughs> took a lot of acid and... Yeah, we're gonna really rock you out now. Uh, true story, Jerry O'Connell and Jerry Halliwell. They got together because uh, they thought their names were the same. Um, <laughs> but hers is spelled differently and now the relationship's probably doomed. Uh, there are pictures that are together in People Magazine, and that they're, People Magazine, I have to say, they're a step above everyone else. They're usually uh, right. They were right about me being gay, and, uh, let's, <laughs> and then wrong again. Uh, try it for a year. Let's uh, see what happened if these two didn't like it. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Rush, uh, this is a kind of a weird one, but stick with me. These two are linked only because they both had recent drug problems and they've been in the news. I'm talking about Rush Limbaugh and Courtney Love. <laughs> both, both have been having their drug problems lately, and, uh, and um, I think they're, they're all going to get straightened out. But we thought, since they're linked in this way, what would happen if these two had a child? Let's take a look. I'm just curious. And then... Uh... <laughs> The child has not softened me in any way. Still a bastard. Uh, 
Now this one's, uh, th these are the two world's most hated, this is the world's most hated men, these two, and uh, we thought for that reason it's, it's fair to see if the two most hated men in the world had a child, what would it look like? Let's find out right now, just curious, go ahead and... Uh... <laughs> I feel so bad for that guy. I honestly do. Yeah, we did a joke. What are you going to do? We'll take a little break. When we come back, Tim Robbins is here. Stick around.